Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Are you teachable? Sometimes we struggle to hear and follow God because we're not teachable. But we can't teach others if we haven't first been taught. We're reading today in the book of Psalms, chapters 25 through 27, and the verse of the day is Psalm 25, verse 5. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me. All day long I put my hope in you. The word of the day is teach. It is the Hebrew word lamad. This word means teach, learn, or instruct. The theological word book of the Old Testament says that lamad has the idea of training as well as educating, while Greek uses two different words for to learn and to teach, each having its own content, goal, and methods, Hebrew uses the same root for both words because all learning and teaching is ultimately to be found in the fear of the Lord. Psalm 25 is a plea for help once again from David. This psalm is an acrostic and a beautiful example of what persecution can produce in us. David was a man after God's own heart, but David himself strayed and David was also attacked many times over by his enemies. But even what is intended for evil can be used for good. Reading in a bit more context, Psalm 25, verses 1 through 5, it says, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, O God, in who I trust. Do not let me be ashamed. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Indeed, none of those who wait for you will be ashamed. Those who deal treacherously without cause will be ashamed. Make me know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths, lead me in your truth, and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day. David came to God as he struggled to overcome shame and attack that was from his enemies. He used the word ashamed three times in verses 2 and 3, starting with a request, do not let me be ashamed, progressing to a statement of faith, none of those who wait for you will be ashamed. Then moving on to who will experience shame those who deal treacherously. You know, when we encounter shame, it humbles us. It causes us to look inward and examine ourselves. Shame is an accusation against our souls from our enemies, but those who are in Christ do not have to fear shame. We can let shame move us to come humbly before God and to ask him to teach us and lead us rather than letting others wield shame against us, defining us with their accusations. It took being humbled to bring David to a beautiful place. When we humble ourselves before God and admit our need for him to teach us, we are transformed by his truth and his presence. And when we are teachable to God, we're able to teach others. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Job.